Our next example on heat transfer through convection, we're going to look at a horizontal wall or maybe even a floor, so a horizontal surface. And let's say that the horizontal surface is at a temperature of 80 degrees centigrade. The air temperature around it is at 20 degrees centigrade. And so the surface is going to be losing heat through convection. Air currents are going to be welling up from the hot surface and moving heat away from the surface. Now, it turns out that the H for a horizontal surface is different from the H of a vertical surface. It's about 7% greater. So therefore, we take whatever we have for the vertical surface and multiply times 1.07. Remember that the H factor for the vertical surface with air was 1.77 times the difference in the temperature to one quarter power and the units were joules per second per square meter per centigrade degree. So we have to take this number and multiply it times about 1.07 to get the equivalent factor for the horizontal surface. So let's do that. Uh, so we have a 1.77 and we multiply that times uh, 7%. <clears throat> so 1.07, that gives us about 1.89. So the H for the horizontal is about 1.89 times delta T to the one quarter power joules per second per meter squared per centigrade degree. And again, this is an approximation. The way they come up with these constants, these numbers, is they actually do some measurements experimentally. Conditions have to be just right. So you can sometimes find, I've looked some of these numbers up, and sometimes they vary by as much as 8 or 9 percent, but you no, know, 7 percent is a pretty good estimate. All right, so let's say in this particular case, what would be the dQdt uh, for a horizontal wall? So when we come up over here, we say dQdt is equal to h times um, the cross sectional area times the difference in the temperature. So in this case, our H would be 1.89 uh, times the delta T to the 1 quarter power times joules per second per meter square per centigrade degree, multiplied times the cross-sectional area. And so let's say we just do it for area equals to 1 meter squared. So we just get 1 meter squared in here. And then the difference in the temperature in this case would be 80 degrees centigrade. So 80 uh, centigrade degrees. Notice that the meter square cancel out, the centigrade degrees cancel out, and we're simply left with joules per second. Of course, don't forget that we have to plug in an 80 right here, so this is equal to 1.89 times 80 to the 1 quarter power joules per second, and of course we have to multiply that times 1 and times 80. Okay, so what's 80 to the 1 quarter power? So that means we take the square root and we take the square root again, that's 2.99, right? Multiply the times 1.89, 1.89. And so we get 5.65, 5.65 joules per second. Multiply that times 80. And so times 80 equals, and that gives us 452 joules per second that would be lost through convection, convection if we had a horizontal surface like that where the temperature difference was, oh, you know what? I made a mistake, didn't I? Because I said that delta T was 80. So, well, we can remedy that real quick. Why don't we call this 100 degrees centigrade so that the difference is 80? And now we got a correct problem. All right. So that's how you find the dQdt, the amount of heat lost through convection from a horizontal surface.